and welcome back to a new episode on World Drive M. The packages are still coming. We have the compressor. I have a compressor in here. Uh, this time we are going to drive the 4 series because it's sitting here on this cold weather for a long time and I don't want the battery to go out. Let's hope it's going to start. And um, we have some good news. The lift is going to be in this episode at our shop. Let's see if the 4 series will start. It's completely frozen. I'm not really sure how cold outside is. But, whoa. Let's see. Let's see. Holy smokes, barely. It barely started. It says only minus 3.5 degrees. But like I said, the car is sitting in here for a week now and we have almost every night minus 7, minus 8 degrees. Holy smokes. Good call that I, uh, I'm going to take the car today with me. Otherwise the battery will go out. So let's... Um, load the compressor in the car i hope it's going to fit in the trunk uh, install it in the shop uh, we can check what we have inside i'm not really sure if um, it's a complete unit with uh, hoses and everything if not i'm going to buy a hose set and um, all the fittings and stuff it's really really cold outside we still have minus 3.5 degrees uh, we have loaded the compressor in there we are going to unpack check if we have all the fittings if not we are going to buy what we need and we are going to receive the lift that's the biggest uh, delivery for this shop and it's out luckily we have all the fittings and even a hose we have the wheels in here we have the stuff to inflate the wheels to blow some air yep a Y fitting that's perfect so we have everything um, I didn't bought a bigger one because I'm always using the electrical stuff so I need just to inflate wheels and tires and uh, to have air to clean stuff in the engine bay so it's perfect but I think we are going to change some stuff in here we have a sink but this is really small it's not bigger than one hand and I'm I think I'm going to take this out and I'm going to install a bigger one because with this one, if I'm going to wash my hands, it's going to splash all over the place, the dirt and everything. So I'm going to buy a bigger one and I'm going to install it a little bit, a little bit higher because it's way too low. So let's buy a new sink, the fittings and everything, do that. After that, finish installing the compressor we have to check if this works because it's new and i want to be sure that it's working of course and uh, make some room in here because the lift is going to be here tomorrow now this is a problem holy smokes the battery is dead and i'm here between the cars of course i bought some stuff for the shop and i'm stuck in here now i'm uh, with the front of the car in this wall so I cannot jump the car. Oops! What the heck is wrong? Huh, strange. Let's try once again. No way. Okay, something is very off because everything is resetting itself. Hmm. Yeah, I know what's wrong. The battery is dead because I didn't drop the car. Okay, let's see what we can do. So, finally did it. We jumped the car with the battery from this company, so thank you. Uh, let's leave it run a little bit. Drive directly home, put the battery on the charger, and we have a bigger sink. We have a mirror in there and uh, other stuff to install the sink. Let's hope it's not going to shut off the car. I have like 12 kilometers still home. I'm not going to turn the car off. Uh, auto start stop, let's turn it off. Let's turn it off, not that. Oh, where's the button? Oh my God, I'm a little bit stressed. I'm uh, gonna update you after I'm uh, home. 
I made it back <laughs> at home. I parked the car in the garage. Uh, I moved everything from this one to the shop car. Let's turn now the car off to see if it's going to start. Um, because I'm going to um, let it uh, charge till tomorrow and from tomorrow I'm going to drive the car every day at least till this uh, cold weather goes because I don't want to ruin the battery so let's see off okay and let's try to start now the car perfect so the battery is charged and let me show you why the battery was low because uh, it was so cold outside I had these wipes in uh, in the car and are uh, completely frozen let's uh, finish installing this uh, compressor we have to put the wheels the stoppers uh, we have to install the Y pipe for sure okay hose and I have an old air uh, gun in here I didn't even use this one at home but we can test if it's working and after that I have to take the trailer out from here but first I want to install a new socket with 13 pins because now it has only 7 so I'm going to do that and um, put everything on the left and right on the sides because like I said tomorrow comes the lift and I have to have uh, enough space in here we have a new sink in here, the fittings that we need, and uh, I think, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'm not really sure if you can see, this is a normal sink. It's like double the size of this one. So this one is really, really small, so I cannot use it. It's like big as my hand and I don't have big hands. So yeah, that's why I'm going to replace that. I think I've installed everything correctly. Oh, let's see. Perfect. I wanted to stop uh, the compressor, but it's uh, working. So we have 10 uh, bar pressure or 150 psi, and uh, we have a leak somewhere. Oh, here on the gun. And let's see. Perfect. Yep, it's working. Yeah, the pressure is dropping when I'm using Okay. Okay, so this one is working. That's done a uh, swell. Um, on the back of the plug, we, had a, we have a diagram. And you can follow in here all the wires. If the colors won't match, you have to check every wire to the back. In my case, everything was the same color as in here. I put the new plug in here so it's done we can uh, take the trailer out I've installed the trailer to check if the plug is okay we have the hazard lights and tada it's working so job done and before I go home I uh, try to set the remote control for the door so up 
top and down. Oops, still up. Yes, it's working. So this one is done. I have to put everything on hold because the lift is here. So uh, it's going to come right now on that road. Let's uh, hope we can um, put it in here because we have this step is not really ready. Everything in here. Let's see. The big truck is gone and we have the delivery in here. We have the two post lift from Twinbush. This is a German company that is near me. And it's a big company in fact. Everything is packed in two packages. One from two and two from two. I'm not going to open anything because the company is going to install everything. So I'm going to leave everything as I received. I don't want to lose anything, so this should be interesting. So we have a lift and uh, we have the a big one, 4.2 tons. And with this I'm going to close the video in here. We have the lift delivered, I uh, synchronized the key for the door. We have uh, the compressor jack, the floor jack. I think we have everything, we are missing just the lift of course. And the other tools are coming after the lift is installed because like I said, I maybe need the tools at home. So if you want to follow my journey, join me for the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.